I just um came to say some things that I see in this life I live. Neck was itching. So anyway, flipping. You might need on my level, let alone my way you can tell when some hell. Today, I was riding my moped. Yes, a moped. Don't have a car. Riding along 30 miles per hour, riding one hand, thinking right now I might look good, but if I fall, I'm fucking pissed, so I have to think about things like that. So I ride in one hand, trying to adjust some shit. See one girl that I used to know, but do you know what's different about this girl? You know what was so different about this girl? She had a pram. She had a pram. <laughs> and do you know what I know? She didn't want that kid. Because when I rode by 30 miles per hour, it slowed down like Matrix. I just saw everything in slow motion. All the emotion on her face, the pressed just like rocking it back and forth thinking this fucking kid why did i do this my mum's a bitch for convincing me to do the right thing the thing is i realize when i look at a lot of young mums they just look depressed i'm not saying young mums can't be good mums but we're not talking about that we're talking about the females that know they shouldn't have a kid because you shouldn't bring a kid into the world if you can't provide for it there's a lot of females against abortion cool i, I understand why but let's be real would you really want to bring in a child in the financial situation that you have it's better off to just let it go than have it and then put them through care you're just putting the kid through fuckery that's dead that's why all these crazy niggas are out there because they're fucked up children it's better to have an abortion if you can't provide if you're saying yeah you're gonna sort out your shit to have a kid yeah cool a lot of people are going to be against what i'm saying but this is what i feel if you're not ignorant you'd understand my logic so when i see these young mums looking all depressed that shit makes me laugh <laughs> every thought in their face just see that they fucked up their life just by the way they push the pram just bare anger all the time you see them trying to get the buggy on the bus and bare people don't give a fuck about letting her first. i'm just saying young mums cool in it if you're a good mum, you're a good mum. For what's in your life, do stuff it right. They advertise it to all people, fam. Wrap the fuck up. And then you won't be in a dilemma, because I know how it runs with boys. What? You're pregnant. You're pregnant. You're what? Do Line cut off. You're pissed. That That's about it, though. I don't know why I'm standing sideways, though. Alright, cool. I look real short. Guess how tall I am. Write in the comments how tall you think I am. <coughs> Uh, over and fucking out. Naren wants to say something to you guys, so I guess you have to listen because it's my video as well. So in a bit. Yo. Lights there. iPhone five. My man said iPhone five in it. I bought iPhone five. Best phone out there at the moment. Apple. Them blood clots. <laughs> Fucking blood clots. Try to release an iPhone 6. Oh my days. I just hustled to get an iPhone 5 and now you're bringing out an iPhone 6. I have to have the latest phone. What? I'm just a Boston. I need the latest phone. So two twos now. I've got an iPhone 5. I'll look at the show it. Do you want to buy it? <laughs> it's got everything man. I'll give you free headphones. In there. <laughs> if you want to buy it, just comment from below. <laughs> Don't know. I just splashed like five bills on the phone and now I'm getting another one for six. I'm gonna be in debt. What am I doing? Ooh, for technology. Just so I can tweet you guys. What, what's going on, fam? <sighs> Follow me at Naren TV. No! It's Apollo, you can swallow or hollow. Trendsetter. I'm that nigga you follow. Success is a must. Cash money, my motto. I got the grand flow. And I ain't talking lotto.